Magandang araw muli. Tayo ngayon ay nasa week 2 of second quarter na may pamagat concept of ratio and proportion and different types of proportion. When two ratios are equal, they form a proportion. Proportion is a statement of equality between two ratios. There are four terms in the proportion. A is to B equals C is to D. The first and last term are called extremes. while the second and third term are called means. In the proportion, the cross products of means and extremes are equal. Example, A is to B equals C is to D. Pag multiply mo ang A and D, equal yan kapag multiply mo naman ang B and C. So, A and D are extremes. At ang B and C naman ay tinatawag na means. A product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Para higit nating maunawaan, etong example number 1. Tell whether the ratios form a proportion. 3 is to 4 and 6 is to 8. I-cross product natin ang 3 is to 4 and 6 is to 8. Sa so 3 times 8 equal sa 4 times 6. Then, multiply natin. 3 times 8 equals 24. Equals sa 4 times 6, that is also 24. The two ratios are proportion since they are equal. Example number 2. Find the value of n. 2 is to 4 equals 3 is to n. Para makuha natin ang value ng n, i-multiply natin ang extremes o ang 2 and n. 2 times n. Then, i-multiply naman ang 4 times 3 o ang means. 2 times n equals 2n. 4 times 3 equals 12. Para matira ang n, i-divide natin pareho sa 2. 2n divided by 2 at ang kabila, 12 divided by 2. Pwede i-cancel. Matitira yung n. Then, 12 divided by 2 equals 6. The value of n is 6. Hindi lang N ang pwede nating gamitin. Kahit anong letter, pwede nating gamitin hindi lamang N. To check, 2 is to 4 equals 3 is to N. Palitan natin ng N. Lagay natin yung sagot nating 6. Then, i-multiply 4 times 3, that is means, equals 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. The product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. The value of n is 6. There are three types of proportion. These are direct, inverse, and partitive proportion. For example, 3 
This is direct proportion. There are 120 families in the evacuation center consume 1,500 kilos of donated rice for 3 weeks. If there are only 1,000 kilos of NFA rice, how long will the families consume this volume of rice? From the given situation above, you can see that the more kilos of rice there is, the longer it will last for 120 families. This situation is an example of direct proportion. To solve this problem, ito ang ating pattern. Original number is to original number equals new number is to new number. Thus, we have number of kilos of rice is to number of weeks equals for new number number of kilos of rice is to number of weeks substitution 1500 number of kilos of rice is to 3 weeks equals 1000 number of kilos of rice is to n dahil ang hinahanap natin ay number of weeks para makonsume ang 1000 kilos of rice kaya n ang ating hinahanap 1,500 times N is 1,500 N equals 1,000 times 3 is 3,000 then 1,500 N divided by 1,500 para matira lang ay ang N then 3,000 Divided by 1,500. So, N equals 2. Therefore, there are 1,000 kilos of rice consumed in 2 weeks. Example 4 for inverse proportion. It takes Robin 20 minutes to ride his bicycle at 20 km per hour from home to grocery store. To shorten his travel time to 16 minutes for the same distance, how fast should he cycle? The faster the bicycle is driving, syempre, the less time is required to reach the destination. So, this is an example of inverse proportion. And this is the pattern. Original number is to new number equals new number is to original number. Let the desired speed be n. So, n ang ating gagamitin para makuha natin yung ating kilometer per hour. For original number of minutes, that is 20 minutes, is to new number of minutes, and that is 16 minutes, equals new number of kilometer per hour, yan yung ating hinahanap na n, is to original number of kilometer per hour and that is the 20 kilometer per hour so get the cross product 16 times n and 20 times 20 16 times n that is 16 n and 20 times 20 equals 400 Divide both sides by 16. So, N equals 25. So, Robin should cycle at 25 km per hour. Example 5 
for partitive proportion. A glass of jar has 64 chocolates. Pepe, Dave, and Ray will share the chocolates in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2. How many chocolates will each one of them get? To understand, ano ba yung tinatanong? Number of chocolates that each will get. Given packs, 64 chocolates. And chocolates will be shared in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2. Ibig sabihin, 1 part for Pepe, 1 part for Dave, and 2 parts for Ray. Para sa plano, ang strategy natin ay write a partitive proportion to solve the problem. To solve, let N be the number of chocolates each of them will get. Ito yung para kay Pepe at para kay Dave. Let 2N be the number of chocolates one of them with two parts will get. Ito naman yung para kay Ray. Write the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2 as N is to N is to 2N. Let's add 1 plus 1 plus 2 equals 4. Then, 64 chocolates divided by 4 equals 16. Ibig sabihin, N equals 16. So, 16 mapupunta kay Pepe at 16 para mapupunta kay Dave. Then, since 2N equals 2 times 16 equals 32, 32 naman ang mapupunta kay Ray. Then, n is to n equals 2n equals 16 is to 16 is to 32. So, the answer, Pepe and Dave will both have 16 chocolates each, while Ray will have 32 chocolates. To check, I-add mo lang ang chocolates na receive ni Pepe, Dave, and Ray. So, 16 plus 16 plus 32 equals 64. For learning task 1, solve and determine whether it is a proportion or not. Write yes or no in your notebook. Sagutan natin ang number 1 na makikita natin sa inyong module. 2 is to 3 equals 4 is to 6. I-multiply lang using cross product ang 2 times 6. And that is 12. 3 times 4. That is 12. Means to say yes. 2 is to 3 equals 4 is to 6. This is proportion. Learning task number 2. Solve its proportion. Write your answer in your notebook. Para sa number 1 na makikita sa inyong module, 5 is to 12 equals 35 is to n. To solve the value of n, i-multiply ang means, then i-multiply ang extremes. 5 times n equals 5n, and 35 times 12, that is 420. So, 420 divided by 5 equals 84. n equals 84. For learning task 3, identify the type of proportion that the following problems illustrate. Then solve the problems in your notebook. Para sa item number 1, ating sagutan, a car is able to travel 210 km in 3 hours. 
How far can it travel in 5 hours? Ito ay direct proportion. Para sa ating pattern, para masagot natin, kilometer is 2 hours equals kilometer is 2 hours. Para sa mga original numbers, 210 kilometer is to 3 hours. Ang ating new numbers, N kilometer, ito yung ating inahanap, is to 5 hours. I-multiply ang extremes, ganun din ang means. So, 210 times 5 equals 1,500. 3 times N, that is 3N. Then, i-divide natin ang 1,050 divided by 3. Ganun din ang 3N divided by 3 equals 350. So, N is 350 kilometer. Ating tandaan, sa direct proportion, when one quantity increases, the other quantity increases at the same rate and vice versa. In inverse proportion, when one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases and vice versa. While in partitive proportion, a whole is divided into parts, that is proportional to the given ratio. Maraming salamat. Naway marami kayong natutunan sa ating lesson. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-comment, i-share ang ating video, at mag-subscribe sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe. Maraming salamat. Paalam.